The movie opens during a 2010 conflict in Iraq. After neutralizing their enemies, a group of American soldiers stumble upon a hole with a staircase leading down to the unknown. Slowly, two soldiers descend into the narrow hole. Upon reaching the bottom where they see an altar, the soldiers' flashlights begin to fail. As darkness consumes them, one of the soldiers screams in terror. Jumping to 2013, on a rainy night in New York, Officer Ralph Sarchi is holding what appears to be a baby. After another police officer confirms its death, Ralph quickly leaves the scene. Afterward, Ralph is riding shotgun with his partner Butler. After receiving a domestic disturbance call that involves a former soldier named Jimmy, the two policemen head to the tenant's address to confront the former soldier. Upon reaching the address, Ralph tells Jimmy that they received a call and that they need to check Jimmy's wife. After seeing the wife, Ralph attempts to arrest Jimmy. Ralph gets distracted, enabling Jimmy to slash his way out of Ralph's grip. However, Butler apprehends Jimmy, leading the former Marine to run away. And so, the two policemen chase Jimmy, managing to catch him quickly. After Ralph delivers a few punches, Butler finally handcuffs Jimmy. In another part of town, a man looks intently at a picture of a woman named Jane. After looking at her, the man proceeds to do workouts and heads immediately to a bar where he orders a drink before leaving. Meanwhile, Ralph and Butler visit the local zoo at night. Other policemen are already in the area before them, indicating that there must be a prior incident. A policeman explains to Ralph that just before closing time, a woman threw her own child inside the lion's den. Luckily, there was no lion, although the child was injured. However, the woman disappeared, which is why Ralph and Butler were called for the job. After roaming around the zoo, Ralph suddenly spots the woman. He then flashes his light on the woman whose behavior is very animalistic. After arresting her, Ralph tries to interrogate the woman but she seems off. While the policemen are talking about the woman, Ralph notices that inside the den, a hooded person is painting in the dark. As such, Ralph calls on the mysterious figure to come close. Under the moonlight, the person has a ghastly appearance. Despite being ordered by Ralph not to move, the hooded person leaves the scene. As such, Ralph gets inside the lion's den to follow the hooded figure. While Ralph is inside, lions suddenly appear. Fortunately, Ralph is able to get back behind the closing gates just before he can get mauled by the animal. Later, Ralph gets in bed with his sleeping wife and wakes her up with a morning kiss. Afterward, the couple watches their daughter perform well in a soccer match. Meanwhile, the woman who threw her baby is currently being transferred. Behind her is the man from earlier, Mendoza, who identifies the woman as Jane. Mendoza explains that he is an undercover priest and that he is there to watch over Jane. After giving them his card, Mendoza then leaves the scene with Jane. Later, Ralph tells Butler that he will find the mysterious painter from earlier who suddenly disappeared. After receiving a goodnight message from his wife and daughter, Ralph is informed about another crazy woman. He then notices that it might be a similar case to Jane from the zoo. And so, Ralph decides to take on the job. Immediately, Ralph and Butler head to a house. There, they see a troubled family who can't sleep properly due to seeing and hearing things coming from the basement. Of course, the policemen are skeptical about this. After Butler gets shocked, he goes upstairs and leaves Ralph behind. After a while of looking around, a man falls behind Ralph. The man appears as if he is rotting while still alive. Suddenly, a swarm of flies emerges from the man's eyes and belly. As such, the dead man is removed from the building. It turns out that the dead man was hired as a painter in the house alongside the hooded person from earlier. Due to this information, Ralph and other policemen raid the dead painter's room. Inside, they see a mess of a place. There, Ralph sees that the dead painter is actually Jane's husband. He also notices that the dead painter is a former Marine that has a picture with the wife beating Jimmy and another person, Santino, identified as the hooded man. As they walk further to a part of the room, they see a dog with a crucifix attached to its neck. They also see a cat nailed to a cross. Later on, Ralph learns from his wife that she's pregnant. However, due to the lukewarm reaction from Ralph, his wife complains that he is a cold person. After the couple reconciles, Ralph notices that one of his fishes were brutally attacked by other fishes in the tank. The next day, Ralph is informed that the camera recordings of the zoo are already set. He also re-encounters Mendoza, who requests to see the recordings as well. Mendoza, who knew Jane, believes that Jane's problem is spiritual, rather than just mere lunacy. Ralph, a former Catholic who had renounced his faith, denies Mendoza's request. Ralph later learns some information about the former Marines. They were dishonorably discharged for attacking a chaplain, 
and the painter's death was ruled as self-execution via the ingestion of paint. Ralph and Butler then watch the footage from the zoo. While watching, Ralph starts to hear the sound of static and other people, sounds that Butler is not hearing. He then sees a wounded face, which, upon replaying, does not appear again. Stressed from all of the events, he loudly tells his daughter to shut up and tells his wife all of the disturbing things that have been happening lately. Afterward, Ralph goes back to Jimmy's house where he encounters his wife. Jimmy's wife then leads Ralph to the former Marine's office. She informs Ralph that her husband would sometimes scratch things. After the wife leaves, Ralph notices a mark on the wall, which, upon scratching, reveals a symbol of a bird. Back at Ralph's house, his daughter gets awakened by the sound of scratching. After checking under the bed, the little girl hears the sound yet again. Alarmed, Ralph's daughter immediately leaves her room. Meanwhile, Ralph has just finished removing the paint off Jimmy's wall, revealing what appears to be incantations. The lights suddenly burn out, and Ralph leaves the room. Out of nowhere, Jimmy suddenly jumps at Ralph and attacks him. Jimmy then quickly leaves the scene like an animal on the loose. Ralph then watches war footage that was recorded by Jimmy. There, Ralph is able to match the same incantations from the altar to the footage. Ralph also goes back to where the painter died and sees the same incantations hidden underneath the paint. The next day, Ralph visits Jane with Mendoza by his side. Ralph attempts to communicate with the rabid Jane. He then shows the incantations via his phone, to which Jane responds by violently biting the policeman's arm. After Mendoza says a religious chant, Jane lets go of Ralph's arm. After Ralph washes his wounds, Mendoza tells Ralph that they should get a drink. In the bar, Mendoza explains that the incantations refer to a gateway for demons. The two then talk about their personal lives, with Mendoza admitting that he used to be a drug addict and Ralph admitting that he stopped believing in God when he was 12 years old. Mendoza then lets Ralph hear a haunting recording from one of his exorcisms. When Ralph comes home, his wife tells him that their daughter cried herself to sleep due to scratching noises. Ralph then goes to his daughter's room to check on her. After checking for a while, Ralph sees a reflection of a bloodied man crawling on his daughter's bed, alerting him. Meanwhile, in the mental asylum where Jane is being held, Jane manages to escape from her cell. The next day, Ralph lets Mendoza see the camera footage from the zoo. Mendoza states that certain people who see the incantation become possessed. Butler then enters the scene to tell Ralph that the incantations were written in human blood, including Santino's blood. With this, they are able to pinpoint Santino's recent address using his DNA. Meanwhile, in Ralph's home, Ralph's wife is preparing to wash her daughter when, suddenly, the daughter screams in terror. Ralph's wife immediately goes to see her daughter. The daughter cries, telling her mother that she heard scratching again and that the door won't open. While that is happening, Ralph and Mendoza are sitting inside a car. Mendoza tells Ralph that he must confess whatever sins he has to protect his family. Ralph, not knowing what happened earlier, ignores the phone call from his wife. Because Ralph is not cooperative, Mendoza confesses his sins. He had relapsed on drugs, made love with a woman, and his child was terminated during pregnancy. He tells all of this so that Ralph can see that it is much better to confess. There, Santino suddenly appears, and Ralph leaves Mendoza's presence. Ralph and Butler quickly move inside Santino's room. While looking around, Ralph hears music while Butler is not hearing anything. Soon after, they encounter Santino inside an elevator, who then heads down to the basement. The two policemen split up. In the basement, Ralph wanders slowly through the dark. While this is happening, Mendoza is praying in his car when the wind starts to blow harshly, breaking the windows. At this point, Mendoza gets out of his car to help Ralph. After walking a few steps, Ralph sees a piano playing itself. Finally, after turning around, Ralph sees Santino. But then, Jimmy emerges from the piano and chokes the unaware Ralph. The policeman throws Jimmy off of him, but Jimmy overpowers him yet again. Meanwhile, Butler, who is going down the basement, gets attacked by Santino. A battle ensues between them but Santino is able to defeat Butler. Before Ralph could be choked to death, Mendoza comes in time to stop Jimmy with his crucifix. The priest prays aggressively in front of the rabid Jimmy. Meanwhile, Santino continues his attack against the weakened butler. After letting out a demonic scream, Santino decides to finish Butler off by stabbing him. After a while of praying, which also affects Ralph, Mendoza manages to restrain Jimmy. With Jimmy stopped, Ralph tries to find his partner, eventually finding him but it's already too late. After these events, Ralph finally confesses his sins to Mendoza. 
Aside from neglecting his wife and daughter for years due to the job, Ralph had also killed a man before. He states that the man was a child predator and killer. One day, after seeing one of his victims, Ralph also saw the perpetrator among the observing crowd. He then chased the man and killed him violently. After the confession, Mendoza absolves Ralph of his sins. Back in Ralph's house, his daughter is awakened by a sound from a jack-in-a-box. Her toy owl falls to the ground and then rolls towards her. In fright, the little girl tries to open the door, but she sees instead a fast-approaching silhouette. She screams in terror. The next day, while Ralph is driving, a woman falls down on his car. The woman turns out to be Jane, who instantly died from the impact. Ralph then receives a phone call from his wife, but he instead hears Santino's voice. Alerted, Ralph drives back to his house. He also calls for help. Upon reaching the house, Ralph immediately sees Santino. He tells Ralph that the wife and daughter are not there, and that they will die if Ralph fails to find them. Ralph questions Santino, hitting him every time he does not answer. Santino then offers a proposition. In exchange for the wife and daughter's location, Ralph must let the demons in. Ralph handcuffs Santino to a pipe, prompting Santino to attack Ralph. Before he can do that, other policemen enter the scene to restrain Santino. After the arrest, Ralph, along with Mendoza and other policemen, interrogates Santino. Santino snarls in response. When Mendoza starts to chant a prayer, Santino escapes his straitjacket and assaults the priest before getting held down again. After being restrained again, Ralph orders the other policeman to leave the room. One of the policemen, who slips to the adjacent room, manages to hear Ralph and Mendoza's plan to exorcise Santino. Mendoza tells Ralph to listen to him throughout the whole process. The exorcism begins with a demonic scream from Santino. Ralph is affected by the scream, to which Mendoza tells him not to give in as it will eventually pass. It does eventually pass, as Mendoza manages to suppress Santino. And so, they continue the exorcism. For a moment, Santino seems to be normal again, but Mendoza warns Ralph that this is a trick from the devil. He continues his chant against Santino when Santino suddenly gets one of his legs loose and bites him. Still, Mendoza continues until Santino's forehead begins to bleed. Then, the lights go out. Mendoza then warns Ralph that they are about to hear the demon's voice. The demon speaks, telling them that Jane is dead. Mendoza does not know this because Ralph did not inform him beforehand. The demon then tells Mendoza that he has his son, angering Mendoza. Ralph stops Mendoza in his tracks. With this, Mendoza resumes the exorcism. Mendoza asks for the demon's name. The demon utters his name as jungler but only Ralph hears it. After Mendoza learns it, he continues his chant. He then warns Ralph to prepare for the last stage. Sure enough, Ralph suddenly hears loud music in his ears and the window shatters behind Santino. The demon then breaks his handcuffs and Ralph holds him down, only for Ralph to be flipped over. Still, the exorcism continues until the demon is finally gone. Ralph then asks about the location of his wife and daughter. Afterward, Ralph and other policemen head to a storage facility where he finally sees his wife and daughter, both safe and sound. Seven months later, Ralph and his wife have another child that Mendoza has baptized. Shortly after the baptism, Ralph retires from being a policeman and continues his work with Mendoza. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.